Saludos Squad, mi nombre es Emanuel y bienvenidos a una nueva entrevista en el canal y hoy vamos a tener a una persona sumamente especial, eh, alguien que probablemente hayan visto en la pantalla grande y saben que no quiero dar muchos detalles, pero tiene que ver con un lobo, así que nada, vamos por allá a entrevistar a Ian Martínez. Hola. Así que, Ian, um, it is a pleasure to have you on the channel. Gracias por estar con nosotros en el día de hoy. Eh, te pregunto, ¿qué se siente haber estado en Bullet Train? It was exciting, kind of scary since it was my first movie. Yeah. But overall, I enjoyed it. Awesome. So I bet since it's your first movie, you had a lot of nerves and I know that that can be uh, sometimes hard, but what is something that uh, while you were doing the film, what was the thing that you liked the most about it? Um, well, there was a lot of things that I liked, but if I were to choose like a scene or something, it would be this one scene where I just kicked us off the wall up a hill. It was yeah. fun. And actually, it's pretty common because it, it was easy to keep my nerves down when I was like by myself or just kicking the wall, having fun. Awesome. So, um, how did you first find out about the the casting, el casting de la película? ¿Cómo tú te enteraste de él? Since my mom's the one who usually works with all that, really yeah. just my agency found it and sent it to my mom. And then since we since it's COVID and stuff, we did it at home. So she just uh, uh, sent me, the, uh, she, she printed out a paper and then gave it to me. I read it and then we did it. Awesome. So that was during the pandemic, right? Eso fue durante la pandemia. Yeah. Yeah. So, sé un poquito de ti. I know a little bit about you. Porque eh, a mí me enviaron un reportaje tuyo de que te estabas modelando, you were modeling with your brother in New York, is that right? Yes. Yeah, I saw that and it's really cool. I mean, you're doing this at a very young age. Estás desde temprano ya tu primer rol y estás ahí en la pantalla grande en una película donde hay grandes actores. There's a lot of action sequences. Y eso está súper cool, pero también estás trabajando con tu hermano en la cuestión del modelaje. Y eso también está súper cool. Así que eh, te pregunto, was there a moment when you were doing the casting that they told you that you were going to play like a younger version of Bad Bunny? Or did you only find out when you got the part? Uh, I kind of, it was like in the middle. Like I didn't know when I did the casting, but then yeah. when I was waiting for a response, like in the, like, And it's like in between when I got it and I was waiting. Uh, yeah. I... How did you feel about that? ¿Cómo te sentiste cuando te dijeron, mira, te toca hacer de Benito, te toca hacer del lobo? Um, I was excited, happy, and again, scared since it was my first time. Some people may not know this, but um, it takes a lot of training and and passion for you to do this and uh is there any other project that you're currently working on right now uh, uh acting wise acting wise there are a few but i can't really say anything about it It's yeah, that, like, okay so we're we're not gonna get into that eh, yo conozco los rigores de cuando está eh, trabajando algo que siempre está super cool eso What what other projects would you like to do? What type of characters? ¿Qué tipo de personaje te gustaría hacer en la pantalla grande? I would usually like to do like maybe Spider-Man, Sonic, like as a voice actor, or maybe Venom. 
basically like superhero type or like basically a movie where I'm like the hero. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. I think that there's actually a chance for you to do that because I don't know if you know this, but there's a group called the Young Avengers, which is uh, it's it's a really cool uh, group. It's basically like the sons and daughters of uh, all those superheroes, like for example, uh, Hulk, Son, um, Wanda Vision's uh, kids, and like other uh, Miss Marvel. So it's like a group of young teenage people that are like saving the world, but you know, at their own pace. So maybe tiene esa oportunidad. Um, I know that Marvel's doing a lot of TV show now, so maybe you have the chance to play a superhero either on the big screen on or on you know streaming. So there's now a lot of opportunities and more for you. So that's that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah, but Spider-Man, that's actually a pretty good one because uh, they're actually doing a lot of shows with Spider-Man right now. So maybe you could either do voice animation, maybe um, you could play like a, a side character or stuff yeah. like that. So eh, that would be a, an amazing idea for your project for you. Eh, ¿Y qué más te gustaría además de superhéroes? Um, well, if I were to think about it, yeah. this is any type of story or character that would like touch the feelings of the people watching oh that's that's actually a pretty good answer like i didn't expect that um yeah i i feel like there there are a couple of characters uh that people would, would actually like to see you in so that that's actually a, a really smart answer eh si sí, de verdad que una contestación muy muy inteligente no lo esperaba y que bueno eh y, y te pregunto si te dieran la oportunidad if you were given the chance to play Benito again, would you do it? Yes, I definitely would. That's awesome. So, Benito, si estás viendo esto, if you're watching this interview, just know that Ian is ready. A la hora de escoger un rol, I bet that your mom uh, helps you a lot with maybe choosing the role and, and what types of auditions did you go to? Uh, can you explain how is the process for you since I know that you are studying and you're doing the school thing plus you're doing acting and modeling. How do you balance that? ¿Cómo tú balanceas estudiar, actuar y modelar? Well, the school thing is not that hard since I usually do most of my work in school. And okay. if I were to have like a, like a meeting, a casting, an interview, or a job yeah we would already be excused since the school knows that i do this okay. so yeah and if i were to miss any work i would immediately do it because i usually had usually if i if i didn't have any any jobs in in a yeah. while i would usually have nothing to do in school so if i didn't end up getting a job like that it would be fine since i could since i already had finished all of my previous work yeah and I, I think that's that's pretty good that uh, you're very knowledgeable. O sea, tú estás bien consciente de lo que pasa en, en tu vida ahora mismo. Um, and that's that's good for you because sometimes um, a shout actors, sometimes they get a little bit lost in terms of uh, how they handle school and their work life. And, and it's good that you have a balance and that your parents are working with you, you know, to compete con la tome, like be a, a good student, a good kid, a good son, but also like have your career and such at a young age. I know a lot of friends and I know a lot of people that I would have loved to do what you're doing right now, you know, going to school, but also doing the, the work thing. And that's, that's actually something that not many people get to do. I know that you're going to have a great career I know that bullet train is just the start, so I want to applaud you for that. What are your next projects? 
que tú puedes hablarme de ello. Yo sé que uh, there are NDAs involved, but only talk to me if you can about what's like your next move. Honestly, since my mom does all that, yeah. like I only know when I have something when it's like when she knows I'm gonna do it, and also yeah. when it's close yeah. by, and she doesn't really tell me anything since um since it's since she usually takes all the stress and then I just do the modeling and acting. So if I were to say I don't really know any projects much, okay. and I know what I talk about most of. Okay, I, I totally respect that and I get it. Um, it's it's good that your mom is taking that approach with you because I think it, it helps you a lot to deal with stress. And mi gente, pues, está, tú sabes, es lo mejor que entiendo muy bien el punto de la mamá porque ella lo que quiere es que él pueda disfrutar su su niñez porque aunque él está trabajando también puede tener la opción de ser un una persona que va a la escuela, que disfruta con su amigo y eso, así que pues por el momento no hay proyectos de lo que él me pueda contar y que la mamá solamente le contaría de un proyecto ya cuando es algo when it's a sure thing, right? Yeah. What do you like to do in your free time? Usually it would either be like baseball if it was like summer or something. Uh, Singing, piano, I'm also trying to do guitar, then I would do the acting modeling. Then, other than that, just watching TV and the cleaning and the living. Awesome. So, uh, have you ever considered doing musicals? Yes, but I haven't really started, or I haven't really done any, but I'm considering. Yeah. What's, what's your favorite musical? Well, if it was an actual musical, like, yeah. like that, that was actually in front of a crowd, it would be Hamilton. Yeah, I I love Hamilton. I I actually got to see it once on New York, and it was great. Uh, and I love how they use the pop culture, the the, the hairstyles, the music, la letra. It, it's something really good, and the beats. You know the beats are really cool. Uh, which character is your favorite from Hamilton? I would say the main character. Um, I haven't watched him in a while, so I, I forgot his name. Alexander but, Hamilton. Yeah, him. Um, I, 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 another reason why I like it is because they were really committed. Because the one you can see on TV, like, like on the screen, like on yeah. Disney Plus, when it was the Kings. Uh, yeah. Even though he had saliva, because like you can clearly see that he had saliva, he still kept yeah. singing. So like it showed the dedication. Sí, eh, a mí también me gusta el personaje de Alexander Hamilton. I really like the character. Yeah, I saw the the Disney Plus screening or the the special. I feel like Lin Manuel Miranda, Lin Manuel, eh, captura muy bien la esencia del personaje que él quiere protagonizar, because he not only plays the main character, he also uh, wrote the show. And during that first run of the Broadway show, he was in charge of running the show. Y, y él se vivía ese papel. Nunca lo pude ver cuando vino a Puerto Rico. I didn't get the chance to see him when he came to Puerto Rico. Uh, obviously, because it's sold out. Ese hombre le metió corazón a, a esa obra. Y, and it was just something else. De verdad que sí. Gracias por, por compartir aquí con nosotros. Ian, ¿dónde la gente te puede conseguir? Where can people follow your work on social media? Uh, like Instagram, I'm pretty sure Facebook. Since I've done a few interviews, you could sometimes find me on, like, maybe on YouTube. De verdad, muchas gracias por estar aquí con nosotros. Um, hola, gracias. Um, just keep on doing what you want to do, because really, to to continue in life, it's better to keep going on what you want to do than yeah. doing something that you don't want to do. It's then be like, sad for most of you. Yeah, very well said, Mr. 
So, um, mi gente, ya saben, escuchen muy bien las palabras de Ian. Básicamente lo que les dijo es, hagan algo que les guste, porque si no les gusta va a ser un poquito más difícil, no lo van a disfrutar tanto lo que están haciendo. Y con esas palabras me hago eco eh, de lo que dijo Ian. Eh, ya saben, mi gente, síganlo en las redes sociales, ian.gmartinez. De verdad que un millón de gracias, Ian. Uh, thank you so much for being on the program. Happy for what you're doing right now with your career. Sigue creciendo. Muchas bendiciones. I hope to see you next on the big screen. Uh, haciendo grandes cosas. Y nada, cualquier cosa, las puertas de Moosepad están aquí abiertas para ti. Muchas bendiciones y gracias. It was a pleasure.